G'day guys, welcome back. Take three. Right, I fill up Goldilocks. I'm going to go again with this swipe and I might not put all of that on, we'll see how we go. Um, Floatrol is my pouring medium today. And this, as I said, this is the third take on this. I wanted to do, I wanted to do a big painting for myself. Um, and I want it to kind of look like um, rusted metal. You know how the rust goes, that sort of greeny, bluey colour. Um, so that's what I'm kind of, oops, <laughs> this what bottle giving me grief. Um, yeah, so that's the kind of look that I'm after. So the first one, my background wasn't thick enough and I didn't get very much lacing at all because my background was just really quite thin. It was like just a, a really thin coat. Um, and my mix was a little bit thicker as well and I didn't really get the lacing, but I did get beautiful blocks of colour and you could see the bronze background through as well. I had lots of negative space, so I really liked that, but I wanted the lacing. So that's when I made my mix a bit thinner, which is the same mix as what I've got now. Uh, the background is Floetrol, four parts Floetrol to one part Sargent's Bronze. Um, I do have copper as well, but I just for this one I wanted the bronze. Copper's quite pink. Um, the black is Artist Loft mixed three parts flow troll to one part paint. The white is the white Artist Loft, and that's mixed two to one because I want it a little bit thinner because I like the white lacing. Thinner your paints, the more lacing you'll get. The silver is the Deco Art Silver Metallic. That's also three parts flow troll to one part paint. And the turquoise is the Montmartre turquoise, also three to one. So the base, four to one, the paint's three to one, except the white, because I want white lacing, two to one. Everyone got that? So the last one, I put too much paint down the center. So when I swiped it out, it covered the whole thing. I need to put less on so that I can swipe it and then it thins out to almost nothing. So let's try again and let's get a little thin strap happening. So start off your canvas or your card or whatever you're using just so that you don't get a big blob on there. And then the silver, I'll try and do a bit of a, a wiggle just so that I can try and get a little bit of each colour. I find if you put it just straight, everything's the same, whereas if you get a wiggle, like this one, I'll get a different colour coming through um, and some white. Like so, hopefully I'm not putting too much on again. And then the teal. Okay, that's my teal. Alrighto, so hopefully that's not too much paint. I think the last one quite spread quite a lot, didn't it? So, righto. Now you can, if you want to use your little swipe cards, I've got lots of different sizes. It's just a document holder that's been cut up. But for this one, because I'm practicing for my big swipe, I'm gonna use the plastic sheet. And I'm going to see if maybe I can, I don't know, it's a bit hard because it's such a small surface, but see if I can come up towards the end. I, I don't think I'm going to be able to. I think I'll just have to go straight through. Um, but it's all up to how much paint you put in the middle. See now how, see this, how I'm going to take half that. And because I've got those wiggles, it's going to look different on this side and the other side. So off we go. And uh, yeah, so there we go. I sort of stopped, tried to stop halfway. <laughs> I'm going to turn it around and do the other side and then I can touch up bits that I want to touch up. And I did kind of miss that bit there. So that's giving me a totally different look again because I haven't got as much paint in the middle. I think that's why. Um, because I haven't got as much paint, so it's kind of hasn't got so much to, to drag down. 
but what I will do is just with my little card here just touch up some little areas and I'll put a blob of white just there so I like this because I can see more of the background I'm going to try and swipe over that just to catch that little bit there missed it a little bit but that's okay you know if you've got time you can just sort of go a little bit blob of your background there and just kind of push that paint off you know so that you can disguise it a little bit <laughs> and the same here um, that's it's tricky isn't it because you have a lot of paint and then you cover everything and you don't see your background so you put less paint down and it kind of skips because there's not much paint there let's do that break that up bring a little bit of color through here so you can for sure go through and fix up little areas you know that you're not happy with by all means so because I didn't have as much paint this time in my stripes, <clears throat> I haven't got as much um, you know, lacing happening. I don't mind these areas here. I would like a little bit more turquoise just on the end. A little blob there and then I'll swipe that and spread it out. <laughs> this little bit of black on the end there so how's that that's kind of a combination of both of them isn't it do you like that one or not so much so when your base is quite thick which I did leave it thick it's a bit hard to tilt when it's not a canvas but if your base is quite thick when you do this you get that rippling effect um, and that's because your, your base coat is quite thick or you've got too much paint there and it sort of catches on the base coat and uh, you, yeah, that's why you get that effect so I'm just going to put that little bit of paint there and just kind of disguise that little bit of turquoise once it dries, it'll dry nice and smooth, so you won't see that. Um, you see there's that little blob there, so you can either disguise that or you can actually go through it again with a little bit more paint. I think I'll just put a little bit of white there. Now I'm going to show you the other two that I, I've just done and tell me which one you like and then I can do the one for me. Okay, so that's just caught that little bit there. So I have got some lacing in this one, obviously not as much as that previous one where I used a lot more paint. They're all different. Now you can try and do a certain, you know, get the certain look, but you know, until you start, it's it's a bit tricky. You're really not going to know what you're going to get until you until it's done. But uh, you can, you know, have thicker paint or thinner paint or more paint or less paint, depending on what you want to do, and that will certainly help. But until you do it, you're really not going to know what you're going to get. Um, I try not to swipe too much because it starts to blend a little bit too much. So I'm going to leave it like that. Um, I'm going to take you down and I'm going to show you this one and I'm going to show you the other two that I did before this one. So this is number three. Actually, maybe I need to break up that black a little bit, don't I? Mm, maybe not. Maybe not. It's nice actually having that the darker area in the middle, isn't it? Mm. Okay. So... Uh, that's a quick one, wasn't it? I need 10 minutes ish. All right, so that's that one. My eye is being drawn to the second one. I can see it over there on the table. <gasps> but what's the chances? I'll probably never be able to do that one again. All right, let's get you down. 
So this is number three. So just leave in the comments which one you like, one, two, or three, and I'll take you over to see number one and two in a minute. Okay, so number three has got some lacing. You can see the bronze background. So it looks like, you know, that the copper, is it called patina when the copper goes that sort of greenish bluish color? Is that what it's called? That's kind of what I'm after, that rusted look. But these are just little practice ones, you know, they were really quick. I didn't spend that much time on them. Um, I'll probably go over these a little bit more just with some little touch-ups. So that's number three. That's, that's them over there. Let's go over there. So that was three. This is two. This has got a lot more lacing. So you can't see the background as much. Little bits will pop through, like here, once it's dried, and you'll be able to see the background. But overall, it's just a lot of lacing, okay? So that's number two. And then number one is over here. This was with the thicker mix. So really not much in the way of lacing. I don't really think it's my favorite one. Um, the, the base coat was really, really thin. I only just spread enough paint to cover it. So that's why I haven't really got much reaction happening. So that's number one. Number two. And number three is over there. Let's go around again and have a look. Oh, there's my swipes underneath. Sitting there looking pretty while they're drying. <laughs> okay, so this is number three, back up here. All right, what do you think? Which one should I do? Or just a combination of both? <clears throat> it really comes down to the thickness of the paint. So, um, so basically, do you like seeing the background? The, the base coat, which is what I'm kind of after? Or do you prefer to have more lacing? Questions? All right, let me know what you think. And um, I'll do a big one. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.